Good evening. Wolverhampton Wanderers have sacked their manager after the club was relegated to League One. Dean Saunders, who had been in charge for only four months, had his contract terminated this morning. Well, since Mick McCarthy was sacked in February last year, Wolves have now fired three managers, Terry Connor, Stola Solbakken and Dean Saunders. They've played a total of 59 league games, but managed to win only 13 of those matches. Ian Winter's report contains some flash photography. Cycling back to work after a woeful weekend for Wolverhampton Wanderers. But as some of the players were peddling in, the manager was already on his bike heading for the exit. But hang on a minute, rewind from the 7th of May to the 7th of January, when a packed media conference covered the arrival of Dean Saunders, who'd replaced Stoller Solbakken, who'd replaced Terry Connor, who'd replaced Mick McCarthy. Six months ago, you told us all that you were very proud of Wolves' reputation for not being a sacking club. How should Dean respond in the light of what's happened over the last six months? Well, well, we only just got it. <laughs> <laughs> How long have I got? The answer, four months, 20 games. Five wins, five draws and ten defeats, with the latest at Brighton confirming Wolves' relegation from the Championship. Ten minutes ago I've started rebuilding the club um, and we have to go forward now. Um, I mean, sometimes it takes hitting rock bottom before you realise things have got to change. Starting with Saunders himself, because unbeknown to him, the chairman had decided that his 12-month rolling contract had rolled long enough. What a contrast to all those smiley faces back in January. And today's latest twist left many Wolves fans in sheer disbelief. I'm not very happy about it. I think he should have been given more time, at least, till Christmas, get his own players in. He come from Doncaster, didn't he? Look at them. He left them, top of the league, come to us. Gone down to League One, they're stupid enough to get rid of a manager that knows how to play League One football, which could easily have got us back up. I think it's a complete nutty shambles. I can see them doing the same as they did in the 70s. Straight away down to the bottom. Having the best stadium in League One is no consolation to the fans at Molyneux because tonight Wolves are looking for their fifth manager in 15 months. And Ian Winter is at Molyneux this evening. Uh, Ian, you spoke to Dean Saunders at Brighton after the game on Saturday. Fair to say he didn't see this coming. Mary, that's absolutely a fair comment. No question at all. Dean Saunders fully expected to be given the green light uh, to resurrect the club from its current predicament. And I understand from sources who've spoken to Dean Saunders himself this afternoon that he is bitterly disappointed uh, not to have been given that opportunity uh, when the axe fell from the chairman. He feels that he's been left uh, to carry the can for Wolves' demise. Uh, let's talk to Amel Ease, former Wolves legend, of course. Amel, you were at Brighton too on Saturday. Did yep. relegation mean that Dean Saunders position was untenable at the club? No, I think it, it, obviously it needed to be looked at, but I don't think it was untenable. The club haven't backed him. In the January window, he wasn't given any money. They didn't buy any players. They, bought, they had two players on loan who were defenders. Um, the big thing that they needed to do was score goals. Um, the, this, the problem with the club goes far beyond the manager, in my opinion. Over the, the last maybe 10 years or so, even before Steve Morgan's come in, the structure of the club needs to be looked at. They've got Kevin Thelwell in there as a, direct, as a uh, technical director or whatever. I don't know what he's, the actual title is, but he, he, needs to, he needs to be given more authority or they need to bring somebody in on the board, at board level, that, that, is, that doesn't have to go through the chief executive. OK, let's say in, in a word, what sort of manager do Wolves need to get them out of the current plight? They need an experienced manager who, can, who, can, who will really be uh, taken notice of and will really sort the culture of the football club out and that can really take it forward and get Wolves back to where they were. Simple as that. OK, Mel, thanks very much indeed. The former Millwall manager, Kenny Jackett, who resigned his position today, has immediately been installed as the bookies' favourites. Uh, we await further developments on a very changing situation here at Molyneux. You can say that again. Ian Winter, thank you. And you can have your say on the situation at Wolves in a special edition of the Football Phone-In on BBC WM until half past seven tonight. And we'll be dropping in to find out what fans are saying a little later in the programme. Coming up later on the show...